Though the Lord has given a command concerning you, I will perpetuate your name out of the house of your gods no longer. I will dig your grave, for you are vile. Behold, on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good tidings, who publisheth peace. O oh, Judah, keep your solemn feasts and perform your vows. For the wicked one will no longer pass through you. He is utterly cut off. It's Nahum chapter 1. That's a prophecy of these last days. You have a question? I believe it is. Believe it? If you believed it, you wouldn't be smoking that cigar right there. What? Because the Bible says in Corinthians, anyone who defiles his temple, God will destroy. What? Yeah. Didn't you know the Bible says that? Because your temple is holy. Is the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6 that you were bought with the price. It was treat your body like a temple. Yeah, that's not treating your body like a temple when you put when you put smoke in it. You know that, 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 that that's the final. The Bible, God says he's going to destroy you. I pray to Jesus every night. God doesn't hear the prayers of sinners. If you're doing that kind of stuff, you're living in sin, God doesn't hear your prayers. He hears the prayers of me. No, he doesn't. You I believe the Bible over you. You don't have a relationship with God. I believe the Bible over you. I, I care about you. That's why I tell you the truth. John 9, 31 says that God does not hear the prayers of a sinner, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, him God, he hears. God hears the prayers of me. Are you worshiping God when you live in sin? Yes, sir. How is that? God knows me. He knows that you're living in sin. He knows my relationship with him. Is that not sin? I mean, you, do you admit that? Do you know my relationship with God? I know you by your fruit. Jesus said in John 7, verse 13, you'll know the tree by its fruit, right? Maybe that. Maybe that. What's the fruit of your life? Do you know God's relationship with me? If, if I can, listen, if I, I I'm serious, because I care about you. Okay. If I can see the fruit and I can judge the fruit of it on the outside. You judge. The spiritual man judges all things. You're judging me for judging you. He, hold on, I, I, this is really important. This man, I need, I'm concerned about him, and I just want to share this last thing with you, okay? If I can judge the fruit of your life, I've, I've taken the plank out of my own eye. I'm allowed to judge you because I don't, I don't smoke cigars. I used to. No, you're not. Yes, I am. A spiritual man judges all things, it says. The only man allowed to judge I, me is God. I can't condemn you. If I, if I was going to judge you and condemn you, I'd just stay at home, brother. I agree. I mean, I give you a righteous judgment. Listen. You look, may look, judge look, me, but you can't condemn look, me. Exactly. Okay. I can't judge you. Yes, sir. I can't condemn you. I believe that. You're condemned know. already, Jesus said. A good, I give you a good judgment. I give you a good judgment that you can be forgiven. The Bible says the ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. If you hear this rebuke that I give you, which is scriptural, you will abide among the wise. That, that's not that's not a con condemnation. I believe it. But here's the problem. What's your name? Travis. Travis. Here's the problem, Travis. If I can judge the fruit of your life, because I, I judge myself. I, I, hold, on, hold on. I know the fruit of your life because you're smoking cigars or whatever. Maybe you're smoking other things I don't know about. But, yes, sir. But, but the, of course, the Bible says a spiritual man judges all things. No one else is judging him. You're not judging. You, you, the Bible says, go and tell, go tell my people their sins, Isaiah 58 says. I repented of my sins, and I'm trying to tell him how to get out of his sins. Uh, exactly. You know what? You know what? I wish, I, wish somebody, I wish somebody would have told me that I was in sin and showed me how to get out. Because then it would have saved me from my felonies. You know what? No, 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 no. You don't, you don't understand what the Bible says. The Bible... The Bible says to, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine. You see, you see, you know what? You don't believe in God because you don't want to be rebuked by God. I give you the scripture. I give you a good judgment. You say, don't judge. Well, how, how else is anybody going to know how to be saved from the judgment if they are not judged? The only man that can judge us is God. Yeah, he's judging you through the preaching of the word. You know what? You know, I, I make to you a very simple judgment and tell you how you can be free. Quit, quit smoking cigarettes. I used to smoke, and God showed me by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. And God sees even the secret the, the secret things that you're doing. Well, I'm pointing it over here, okay? Because God sees the secret things that you're doing. If I can judge you on the, the basic things that you're doing that are obviously evil, I mean, I think you can admit that, right? I can, yeah. Okay? Then what, what, how, how, what about him who made the eye? Does he not see, right? God sees everything. Okay? Does he see your thoughts in secret? He sees everything. He sees my heart, my soul, everything. So why are you so concerned about my judgment? And I'm not. Well, 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 obviously you are because you said only God can judge me. That, you know what? You should not be taking comfort in God's judgment, young man. You should not be taking any comfort in God's judgment. You think my judgment is severe? You should be terrified of what's going to happen on judgment day. Only God knows the judgment. Uh, oh, you're not ready to be judged by God. You're not ready. If you're in your sin, you're, you're following the way of the devil. That's what the Bible says. You don't 
I do by your fruit, yes. The Bi Jesus said a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. Yes, I do. I can tell you very The Bible says that those who sin are of the devil. You're living in sin. You're, you're following the way of the devil. It's very clear. I used to live like you. That's how I know. I used to live just like you. I know. And God was condemning me in my conscience. How am I living? You're living in sin. How am I living? You're living in sin. How? How? <laughs> By the very fact that you're smoking a cigar, that's enough right there. You, you stumble in one area, you're guilty of all. Yeah, and now, and now, and now you're, you just sinned again. How? You know, you just sinned again. You know that? Let, let me tell you how you just sinned. The Bible says a friend of the world is the enemy of God. You just sinned again. Now you're just digging yourself in a deeper grave. I do. I know you by your fruit. Yes. Yeah, the Bible says that many profess to know God, but by works they deny him. Titus 1.16. I'm telling you what the Bible says. The word of God. Look at what you're doing. You guys, you're getting drunk out here, right? He's not drunk. He's just drunk. Ask this man. Oh, you were the one over here earlier saying, I'm the drunkard. I'm the guy. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there. now the truth comes out. All of a sudden, all the truth is starting to come to the surface now. No, Let's just stop being hypocrites. Let's just be real, right? Let's just be real. I, I, trust you. That's I used to be a drunkard. I used to be a pot smoker. I was, I was an adulterous person, and God convicted me. Do you know how I know you're in trouble? Because I was in trouble. Okay, can you stop real quick? I just want to tell you something. Because the Bible says so. Can you stop real quick? Huh? This guy's talking now. I, want to hear, are you, I think we, we kind of exhausted our point. I want to let this guy have a chance here. I want to tell you something. What well, good is that? The hypocrites in heart store up wrath. Yeah. The Bible says it. Okay, give me, give me a Bible verse. Can I give you a Bible verse? Okay, Psalm 66 verse 18 says, Psalm 66 verse 18 says that if I regard iniquity, iniquity is sin. I got you. I know what it means. Okay, some people don't. That's why I said. Well, no, some people ask me. They don't know what word it means. Okay. If I regard iniquity in my heart, you will not hear. That's what that's what the psalmist said. If you regard sin in your heart, it says God does not hear your sin. I hear your prayer. Let me get hold on, let me give one more verse because because every truth will be established by two or three witnesses. Just one more verse. I'm willing to talk with you guys, but you gotta at least hear this because this is very important. Psalms 34 says, God hears the prayers of a righteous man. His ears are attentive to his prayers, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off their remembrance from the land. God only is attentive to the prayers of the righteous, but his face is against. He hides his, he hides his face in anger. I repented of my sins. I'm righteous. Yes. I'm righteous in Christ. I, I practice righteousness. It's true. I actually obey the Bible. Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me give you a quick testimony, okay? When, when, when I had heart failure, listen, Listen, I had heart failure four years ago. La I laughed at a guy in the pool hall taking a big swig of alcohol. I want to ask you something. Okay, just bear with me. Keep it in your heart, okay? I was living as a drunkard. I was living as a pot smoker. I was living in, in pornography. I was living in all kinds of sin. And, and one day, then you're condemned. You just, you just admitted that you're walking in condemnation, as I was. But God convicted me. I laughed at a guy in the pool hall one day, and I, I damaged the muscles to control my swallowing. And about two months later, I ended up on my deathbed. I couldn't even swallow my own saliva. And all of a sudden, I knew what the terror of the Lord was. God persuaded me. I ran to his word, and I cried out on my deathbed. On my dying moments when I, was, I couldn't breathe, I was freezing cold, teeth chattering, terrified before a holy God. And God saved me. The doctors couldn't save me. I turned to the word. I trusted Jesus. Jesus said to go and sin no more. The Bible says that by the terror of the Lord, that men depart from evil, I was terrified if I would go on in my sin. Because Jesus said this in John 5, verse 14. Oh, go and sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. The worst thing that could happen to you is that you would die in your sin. Then what? Then what? You need to be dead spiritually. You don't want to fear that. No, let me give you one more verse, and then you can answer quite well. One more verse. All right? Je yeah. Keep, this is the last one, okay? Jesus said this in, John, in, in, in Matthew chapter 10, okay? He said, do not fear him who is able to kill the body, and that's it. Isn't it true that someone could kill you here on earth? It's terrifying, right? Well, Jesus said, don't fear him who can kill you here. He said, I'll tell you whom you should fear. Hey, quit, quit distracting him. That's not nice. Okay? Well, then I'm just going to preach to someone else. The, the devil's working through this guy. The, you know, the, devil, devil, the devil's trying to teach, teach him, or the, the guy's trying to speak to him, the devil's working through you. So just take a step back. That's exactly what happens. But anyway, so Jesus said, don't fear him who can kill the body, and that's it. That's the first death. He said, I'll tell you whom you should fear. The one who after, has power after killing the body can kill your soul in hell. That's God. Matthew 10, 28. There's a second death that's coming. 
You know, Jesus said this. Okay, hold on. You're right. You're right. I have to answer your question now. Do you believe you are sin free? I don't walk into any willful sin. My conscience is clear. I repented and I got rid of. I got rid of my worldly movies. I got rid of my worldly, um, my worldly music. I, I, I got rid of my sin. All, ha all have sinned. True. True. You know, here. This is a good. This is a good point. That all have sinned. Romans three twenty three. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But, but you know what? God made me new, and he wants to make you new. He wants to make you just like Jesus. Amen. You know, the Bible says this. Let me, give you, let me give you two verses. The Bible says, If a wicked man turns from his wickedness to righteousness, none of his wickedness will be remembered. God says he wants to make a covenant with you in Hebrews chapter 12. He said that all would know me from the least of them to the greatest of them, and that I would be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. If you continue in your sin, that's not a promise for you. You, you don't have that promise. I've been given that promise. God doesn't remember my sins anymore. I repented of my sins. I'm just, I'm just finishing the point. Okay, I'm done. All right, you're not letting us speak. You don't I am letting you speak. God. So I do know by your fruits. It's very clear. You don't know my relationship with God. Exactly. I know my relationship with God. I know what, I know what works. Well, no. I, there's only one. There's only one way, though. There's there's not multiple ways to God. There's you can't say you can't say this. You can't say that the Bible says to go and sin no more, and that so therefore I have to go and sin no more. No, no, I'm not. That's that's the New Testament. That's John. I'm telling you that you're a liar. You're a, you're a liar. You're a deceiver. You're, no, I'm telling you he's a liar because he's telling me he told you it was in the Old Testament. I'm telling you it's not in the Old Testament. No, you're a liar. You're a liar. I'm preaching to you New Testament scripture. You're a liar. You're you're a deceiver. Let me give you a new. Let me give you a New Testament verse. Second, second, second Timothy. Yeah, the, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. That's actually verse 14. You're a naysayer. You're an unbeliever. You 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 you, 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 you The Bible says that that if they rejected Moses' law. It says, under two or three witnesses, they were destroyed. How much worse punishment will he be thought worthy who tramples the Son of God underfoot? You think, it's, you think it was stricter under the Old Testament when the, the New Testament says it's actually stricter? Because now you have the blood of Jesus to be accountable for. It's not, it's not less strict. You have a higher level of accountability because God's given you His Holy Spirit now through His Word. And that's, that is terrifying to me that people think that, that, oh, that we just sinned and we can make it to God's kingdom. But what's the name of the Spirit of God? What's the Spirit's name? What I don't get Holy. about you is that... Holy. Holy. I mean, I know. This guy's listening here. I think God's speaking to this man here. God is up, isn't John it? 1, through 10. You know what? John, John 1, about you're you talking about that? the book of John? John 1. The word was God. The word, the word was John with God. Yeah, the word was God. The word was with God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory. That's verse 14. Yeah, it says, it says that, the, the, that the light came into the world. That we have no he, sin. We are deceiving ourselves. In the truth no, you're talking about 1 John. 1 John. 1 John. 1 John. 1 John. Yeah, yeah, it says if we have not sinned. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have no we sin, meaning that, that, that we all we all we all have sin. You see, you see, you, you misunderstand. You, you don't have the you don't have the you don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't have the Holy Spirit because because the scriptures you don't understand that the scripture says that he who sins is of the devil. In the two two chapters later, let me read to you what the rest of John says because you take the scripture out of context. It says in First John chapter two, anyone who says they know God and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. That's what you just said. You said, oh, you can know God and not keep his commandments. You're a liar. You misinterpret the word of God because you don't have the Holy Spirit. You see, if you had the Holy Spirit, you'd see that that scripture, all that scripture is saying is, is that all have sinned. I have sinned, you have sinned, and I'm showing you the way out of your sin. Do you not believe it can be done? If God changed me, I was a drug dealer. I was a wicked person. And God threw it. No, you're a liar. You're, 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 you're of the devil. You still are, so you condemn people and you want to... You, you do not enter the kingdom yourself. Hey, listen, 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 if you, listen, listen, if you don't want to enter the kingdom yourself, don't hinder others from entering, okay? Don't hinder others from entering. I, I don't misinterpret anything because every, the, the Bible says that knowledge is plain to him who has understanding. If you don't have understanding, knowledge is not plain to you. Here's one for you. I am trying I'm to let you speak. I'm a medic, and I save lives every day. You don't save anything. Yeah, no, yes, he no, does. no, no, no. You don't. Yes, he does. You don't save anything. He saves everything. The heart, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, the Bible says. Exactly. So the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. The Bible says God, God can call his spirit back at any point in time. No, I don't shake people's hands. Not out here, not unless I talk to people first. Do you, be, do you believe the word of God? Yes, I do. You're born again? You're doing a good job. You're born take, again? Okay, now I can give you a hug. He takes a man to the way you do it, man. I love you, brother. Okay. I got to talk first.
You gotta be careful. God bless you, man. <laughs> you honestly just There's another God. witness right there. Look, you should look at this guy's witness right here. You have the Holy Spirit. You see the joy in him? You see, he has a clear conscience. He loves Jesus. You're misinterpreting the word. How am I misinterpreting? I give you one verse after another. Go ahead. Go God go saved ahead. me from my sin. How is that misinterpreting the God grace of God? If you're in your sins, if you, if you, if you don't believe the truth. If you don't believe the word of God. No, no, here, let me, okay, let me give you one verse. Let me give you one verse. All right, you're next. You're next. I'm the preacher. I got to preach. And he asked a question, and it'll be your turn next. Hold on. We got to be fair here. There's there's five of you, and there's one of me, okay? The, Titus chapter 2 says this. I can't, I can't. I got to answer him. I got to ask him. Because God, God is in control of everything. If God didn't allow you to save lives, then you wouldn't do anything. That's the only point I was trying to say. You don't give glory to God. Why like would you give glory to God? Why? Shut the fuck up. No, I'm there to no, preach, no, no. man. Shut the fuck up. Why do you have cursings in your heart? Shut up. No, 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 I'm, no, no, no. I'm just going to keep preaching, man. You, be quiet for one second. Just listen. Just listen. Okay, I'll Overseas. listen. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Overseas. Overseas. Someone's, Someone's arm is blown off, and I go in, and I patch it up, and yeah. I save their lives, and I look at them, and they ask for God. That is asking for forgiveness. I'm God gave me this. Hey, listen, I don't discount it. That is not. I don't discount so why don't you shut the fuck up? Oh, no. Why do you have cursings in your heart? Why do you have hate in your heart? What's going to be the end of those things? talk back again, I'm going to your fucking face. You can do whatever you want, but you know what? I don't want you to go to jail. I don't want you to go to hell. Say one thing to me again. I, I tell you the truth. Lives. Well, you're, you say one thing to me again. I'm telling you the truth. God saves lives. Say it one more time. God is true. God, Let me tell you. God is true, and every man is a liar. You're lying right now because you take the glory away from God. You want to take the glory for yourself. You're taking the glory for yourself. What is, what's wrong with me telling you need to give the glory to God? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I have nothing wrong with that. It's pride. It's pride. Pride, you're prideful. You're being prideful when you do that. Just quiet. Just quiet for what second. you're doing is okay. I agree with this guy right here is close to me. What you're doing is right. But if you ever, if, if you ever, no, I, if you ever call me a liar for going like over there and saving lives, if you, if people, if you do, all, all over the world, you, I'm going to be the shit out of you. If you don't give God the glory, you are a liar. That's just the Bible. I do. And when they're when they're on there dying, and why do you have murder in your heart? The Bible says when you hate when you hate in your heart, that's murder in your heart. What should we do with that? That was that's terrifying. I don't want you to have the judgment of a murder. What should you do with your life? Well, I was trying to explain to you what the Bible says. Stop, stop, stop. He's in the military. He's a medic in the military. If that's not a valiant Respect career, that. what should we do with our life? Well, let me give you a couple of scriptures about this. It says, it says our righteousness Put is... That down no, down. I want everybody to hear this. Here's the, here's everybody the needs to hear this. Here's the, the Bible says that, that our righteousness is as filthy rags without Christ. Because because you want to take the glory for yourself. What would it? Yes, you do. That's what he's doing. I tell you that God saves lives and he gives us the ability to do what we do. And then you want to say, no, no, no. God's not the one who really gets the glory. You see the, you see the problem in that? You see the problem in that? Right, right now, what you're doing is a lot of guns, and I respect that. What I'm, what I'm saying, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. Do you know what? Do you know what? Here, I'm giving God the glory. That's the difference between me and you. The difference between me and you is I give. I say God empowered me. God changed me. God deserves the glory, and you're taking the glory for yourself. That's, but that's what you do. I know that, but I'm saying that you're you are listening, but you're not listening. Listen right now. Listen right now. Listen. Okay, I'm just gonna keep preaching though. Just listen. Just listen. I've already listened to you, sir. In the military, air force, army, military. Um, are you saying all over wrong navy? For doing what they're doing? They are. I, if you're not living for God, you are wrong. What if they are? It doesn't matter. Everything you do is wrong if if you're not living for God. That's what the Bible teaches. That's what the Bible says. I go over there. That's fine. Arms are blown off. I'm the fucking Good. one there, the doctor Good. there that fucking saves them. And when well, they are begging for for just help, you know what I give them? A fucking prayer card. Okay. And I say, you know what? Pray to God. Okay, and that's if you, fine. If Jesus, you're in a cup, no, no, let me give you a parable. No, I'm just going to keep preaching. You've said your piece ten times over and you still take the glory for yourself. I'm just going to keep preaching. You're going to come to a fucking beach. I'm just going to keep preaching. I'm going to keep preaching, okay? If you're gonna... The Bible says that what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose their soul? Why, why do people want to take the glory away from God? Why do you want to... Why do you want to... You know, the Bible said Jesus, Jesus gave a parable. He said, I didn't... He said, I didn't those who are well are no need of a, of a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You have a question? No, I don't have a question. I have a statement. Okay. As a Christian myself. Okay. You guys, the way that y'all are approaching it, y'all are turning people away from God. How can they be any farther away from God when Jesus said if they don't believe they're condemned already? But what about that scripture? A more agile way to well, come uh, to people instead of what about, when they hear you as a Christian uh -huh. and, and as a young woman, when they hear you, they don't want to come to God what, 
when y'all are so aggressive. What about That's what's what wrong a, with okay, us as Christians? Okay, what about, We're so aggressive. Okay, so people don't I, even want to. They don't I, even want to listen, a, and okay. they don't want to open their ears to yeah. what God has to say or anything yeah. like that because y'all are so aggressive and pouncing on people okay. instead of sitting here and embracing them well, and why just you, coming okay. to them in a more agile way. Well, you're judging me as aggressive. I mean, I, I, I think my video camera and the people around here might might say something else about my approach. The Bible says this. What about this scripture? What about Proverbs one verse seven? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. And what about what about Proverbs sixteen six? There's, there's what about the what about no, 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 no. If you don't have the if you don't have the beginning, you have nothing. Nobody else can even. I, I, I'm stopping. Else. People are talking to me. I believe. I believe the Bible. Else. Listen, I actually they believe. I actually. Can only hear you. I. They're listening. They they're listening. Hear. All no everybody needs to hear. hear they can hear no you. Listen. They need to hear me. I'm called of God to preach, and you want to stop the preaching. No, 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 no. no. Okay, then no, let's just be careful about that. Well, we do more than just preach the gospel. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, and I hope you're just maybe a little confused because I believe the Bible. The Bible says to reprove, rebuke. Hold on, this lady's asking a question. Can I speak with her? That's the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4 to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, I either, 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 anybody, okay, look. Has anybody look, I just had a, repented? Oh, I got a guy, I got a guy right behind here because of where? my this ministry. He's he's uh where? He, he's wait, wait, y'all approach. Where's where? where's Rick? Okay, they went to dinner, but but okay, so so you're either gonna have to believe my testimony or not. But I have a man here who repented because of this ministry. We get fruit all the time. Doesn't the Bible? Say I know it's true. I, see, I don't want to bear fruit that doesn't remain. That's why I'm not gonna tell them an itching ears gospel that tickles their flesh. I'm gonna tell them what the Bible says. Yeah, you don't have to tell them that. Yeah. There's a more okay. Way. Well, well, this is agile. I li I listen to people. No, you, you need to believe the truth. You need to believe by the terror of the Lord we persuade men. Second Corinthians chapter five verse ten. It says, "By the terror of the Lord we persuade men." If there's no fear of God in the message, it's pointless. I can tell you what the grace of God, people have heard the grace of God and they've already rejected it in this culture. They, they think that God is altogether like them. Why not, why not fear God? Why not turn from evil and actually be born again? Any man who is in Christ is a new creation. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm, trying, I'm finishing this. I'm mainly here to preach. God has told me to preach. I actually don't have to stop and talk to you. I do it because I care about you. I actually am really called to preach. But it says that any man who is in Christ is a new creation. All things pass away and all things become new. That's the gospel. The born again spirit. No, there is no other religion. There's no such thing as religion. There is one lawgiver. There is one lawgiver who was able to save and destroy. No one, nobody else died for sins. Buddha didn't claim to die for your sins because he was a liar. Muhammad didn't die for your sins, did he? No. There's only... Jesus said... Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life... No one comes to the Father but by me. Either Jesus was telling the truth, or he was a liar like everybody else. He again, wasn't a liar. Again, he I can't lie. There, God can't lie. Hold on. Believe in stuff. Other people believe in stuff. You can never We've been through it already, man. I'm going to let you, you, you can't I'm talking to this guy now. You can't say that other people can't believe in other things. Because everybody, There's nothing else that you can, God says, is free to believe what they truth believe. Truth is truth. I believe Jesus. He proved himself to me. His miracles are real. He's the only way to God. I'll never talk to you again. That's fine. You go over there and you watch people get shot and you look in their eyes and you tell me and you tell me that everyone's a sinner, everyone's a liar. When people go over there and they fucking die for you. I don't you. believe everyone's a liar. You sit here and you're fucking shit I don't believe. I believe you're sinning right now because you you're cursing, but okay. I don't believe everybody people sins. People go over there and they die because they for this. Uh huh. Don't you ever disrespect that? Because if you ever disrespect that, no, shut before you say anything. If you disrespect that again, I promise you. I promise you, there will be okay. five of me here, and you'll be. On your I understand. Face. I understand. Okay. There's murder in your heart. I'm not. I, I just tell you the no, truth. No, you'll be dead. You'll be close enough. To well, I'm saying your Jesus. Jesus said, if you have hate in your heart, that's murder in your heart. Violence. Because you know what? God you hates a violent man. And you watch your buddy get shot. I'm not violent towards you. My best friend get fucking shot. Why do you repay me evil for good? You why are we trying to repay me evil for good? This? Why don't you do this? Because because this because wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. That's why. You know that's what, why. Though? Wine you is a mocker and beer is a brawler. You know what? Though? That's the truth, isn't it? You, isn't you that true? No, isn't it true though? I'm just asking you. Is it true? Beer is what? It says wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. That's a proverb in the Bible. Isn't that true? It's true, isn't it though? Let's just be bad. honest. It is bad. bad. Okay. But when? Okay. But when? Listen. But when you know when you do stuff, you're everyone's allowed to relax. Jesus drink wine. Is that a sin? Yeah, uh, is it? Well, drunkenness is the issue. 
what, drunkenness. I'm, drunk, I'm talking to you verbally. I'm just telling the Bible says that drunkenness. But I'm not drunk. No I'm drunkard will inherit the kingdom. Of drinking wine. No is drunkard. That, that no drunkard will inherit the kingdom. But you know what though? If you, ever you know when you know when you cross the line. If you disrespect someone again for their own religion, or you disrespect people for going over there ever again, disrespect me. I promise. I'm, you I'm not disrespecting anybody. I preach to you the truth. You, you disrespect God. You. Why don't you go? Why don't you have respect don't for don't God? You, go you know the fear of the Lord means to respect God. You know what? Go go to the Holy Land. Go well, there. Well, who, what happens? I'm, Watch the bombs. I'm here to tell you that God is God is going to restore all that. He's He's the one who holds people's souls in the balance you know, as they no, die. No, what no, about those people that died and, they, and they, you weren't able to save? What happened to them? You know what? Though? What happened to them? No, don't, because you know what? You're God is the one who's able. Right How am I crossing the line? The line. You, know you know what? Just just go your way, man. Those people over there, man, they oh, their man. family, their kids, their wives, their parents, okay. their grandparents, because they gave their lives. Right. You, they gave their fucking lives okay. so you could do this. Right. I've washed so my. I've washed. You I've washed your blood off my hands. Don't man. Go you ahead. dare. Go ahead. Go don't you dare. Shut up right now before I fuck go up ahead. crazy. You, you, Don't you you're care. so possessed by demons, man. What's no, wrong no, with you? Oh, you're John threatening me. Seven. You're John threatening seven. me. And you're, you're threatening me with, with, with hurt and pain. And stuff. That's, that's ridiculous. I'm not God afraid of you. I'm afraid of God. You. John 4, 7. Read that one. You know what that one is? Do what now? Flee yourself for the, from the devil. and Resist the devil and he will flee from you, you mean? Exactly. Resist the devil and sub, submit. You have to submit to God. Resist the devil. Please. But you know what? Okay. I say that all the time to people. Listen. All right. I don't think that's the right scripture. Let me finish. I respect what you're doing because you're, you're, I believe in God myself. I have care of my grandfather's prayer cards. You threaten me. You don't respect me. Yes, I do. You just threatened me about you, ten times. I got it all on videotape here. You threaten. And you have no respect for authority either. You, you actually, you commit a crime. You, no, you, you say, well, you, you're threatening me that you want to commit a crime on me. You're, I'm going to knock you out. That's battery. You go to jail for that. You probably could lose your, your status in the military because of that. Oh, I save people's lives, but yet I'm going to hurt you and try to take your life. You're a hypocrite. You're an absolute hypocrite. Do you know why I want to do that? No, you make, then, then you're a liar too now. You make threats that you can't keep. And I'm here to tell you the truth, and, and what do you do? You're double-minded. No, even the demons believe. Even the demons believe and tremble. Believe Doesn't matter. I've never hurt somebody it's not gonna do. It. It's not and gonna do. You believe in this? Let me finish. I, I respect okay. you for doing this. No, but you can't. Please, just do me this favor. You've been warned, you ma'am. Do me this favor. Please okay. don't respect. I'm talking to the human right now, so don't. Please just put it down. Please put it down for your face. Please put it down. Okay, please, put it down. Go ahead. Go ahead. please don't res don't disrespect. As a human being, you don't have to shake my hand. As a human being, please just don't disrespect military or people that believe in military. military. Just listen, because I, I, I would I, never I would never do anything bad to you. My, you, know, you, threaten, you threatened me, so man. No, you, no, you, no, you don't 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 lie to yourself, man. I, I know I threatened you, but that's because but you're lying to yourself. You God's gonna there. God's gonna judge you for that. I know God's gonna judge you for that. But I've seen people get shot and killed. I understand and that, but to hurt the I, and I don't discount that. You're not understanding why <laughs> why I why I give God the glory because he's the one who's trying to show us that with, I've gone to God. Without those things, it do doesn't you matter. Think, do you you have a curse like over me? your life. If you were serving God, you wouldn't be cussing and drinking you, and doing all this. But do you think though, every night I pray, every morning I pray, doesn't, every time I feel like I can't handle it myself, I ask him, just please give me a little bit of help. God doesn't want you to pray. He wants you to repent. No, and I do help people all the time. You need listen, to repent. I do. You need to quit just sinning. Listen, just listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking right. this. I'm asking you this. You're not getting it, man. I understand. As a human being, as man to man, I would never hurt anybody. Else. I've never hurt anybody my entire life. I will, so I'm a why are you threatening somebody that you're going to hurt them? Because you're hurting people that are, have, you're, have, you're, have no. died. You're, you're, to me, to me, to I'm me, not hurting nobody. I know, but to me, you're, I glorify you're disrespecting God. Me. To me, it's disrespectful. I know you might not be able to, but to me, it sounds like it. All so right, let me well. finish you with this. I, would, I have never hurt a human being my entire life. Never. That's why I'm a medic. Right. That's why I don't shoot the guy. Right. Look, I got to keep say, preaching, man. I mean, just we, listen, just I know. Listen. We, we, we've been going through this for about... I can't shake your hand. I can't shake your hand. I'll repent if you shake my hand. No, 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 no. I promise. No. I promise. I'll walk away. Look, I'll walk away, and you'll see me go to my thing. I'll put this down, and I'll go in the water. Shake my hand as a human being. Well, I want you to repent, so for that, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Just look, if you're going to repent and I see will. God and get rid of your sin, I you got to stop cussing. I promise. you got to stop making but threats. Please, but just please, please, if people believe, people can believe no, whatever they want. I people, can't shake your hand. People no. can believe whatever they want. No. One Jesus Christ, no. correct. One God, correct. And one God. People can believe whatever so, they want to believe. So you're admitting now that what you said was wrong earlier, right? A little bit. But people uh, can believe. People can you're believe. You're not ready yet. No, no, you're not people, ready yet. People, I think you're on the edge, but you're not but ready. People can't. No, no. Let me people can't believe what they want. You can leave this up. People can believe what they want to believe, no. but you can't save everybody. You can help. But you can never save everybody, I, which yeah. I believe. I can't save I can. anybody, but I'm a messenger. I stand for what is right. You can save a certain amount, but you can never save everybody. The Bible is right, and everything else so is wrong. Can believe what you can't disrespect them. Well, I'm not disrespecting them. I tell them the truth, but and you can't, you can't call they, Buddha a lie. You can't call. Well, of course, because it is. They are lies. But you can't say that though, because some yes, grandparents, somebody, somebody believed in that, and you can't let. Doesn't them... Doesn't matter if they believe something's not true, and I know the Bible is true. Then I have every right to warn them because they're following something that's not true. It's this a lie. Is, it's going to condemn them. 
I, I know what you're saying. Can I get your name? Because I will, I, will, I will keep you in prayer. You don't have to give me your name. Well, sir, listen, I will pray for you.